So hello and welcome to Tsukagi Kogan Ski Resort. I hope I pronounced that right. But I'm here in Japan's Hakuba Valley and behind me is Jackie's Kitchen. If you come to this place, Jackie's Kitchen is actually a really important place to visit because this is where they host the DPD courses. You need to take a DPD course if you want to make your way into the trees or the gated areas here and they run at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's basically a first come first serve which is why I'm waiting here probably about half an hour before the course starts because I want to keep my place in line. What else do you need to know about Tsukaigi? Well today as you can see it is snowing and there is going to be 43 centimeters of fresh Japanese powder here. Uh, with a mixture of runs it's great for families around 50% of the runs are uh, suitable for beginners and about 50% are marked for intermediate or advanced riders. Anyway as I said I don't want to miss my place in the line so I'm going to go inside and uh, wait for this course. So just finished on the DPD, Double Black Diamond course here, which you need to take to be able to ride through these trees behind me. Uh, as you can see, there's currently a red rope with a do not duck sign, but slightly further around the corner, there is a series of gates. Uh, four gates in total here at Tsukaigi. I'd highly recommend doing the course, uh, not only because it opens up more terrain, um, but also it gives you a little bit of info from a local's knowledge and someone who's been here at least for the season uh, telling us about wildlife or certain traps that you might come across and um, so definitely recommend going to the DPD course it took about half an hour um, and it costs you nothing so uh, that knowledge could be priceless gondola from Tsukaigi mid station. Um, to be honest today has been a bit of a non-starter. We went on the DBD course first thing uh, so that started at 10 and it took about half an hour to 40 minutes to allow you into the restricted areas. However the restricted areas are closed today except for for one gate. What I've seen so far from uh, Sugaigi is the piece did runs and a little bit of the side of the piece and to be fair it is a really nice resort but a very small resort as well I mean nine courses it's probably somewhere where you come for a day unless the conditions are great and then you can just lap and lap and lap um, what I will say like the base area and the gondola at mid station they've got plenty of amenities for you stuff that it's going to keep you occupied, even a high ropes course for uh, if you get bored of actually skiing or snowboarding, uh, kind of like a go ape style that we would have uh, over in the UK, um, which seemed pretty cool. It's not really for me, I'm here to ski or snowboard, but it's another option for other people. So just going to go out, make the most of the next couple of hours, hopefully the skies start to clear a bit, but this is part of being in Japan. You don't get 12 meters of snow in a season like Tsukaigi does without some bad weather days so uh, gonna make the most of it get out and snow and just enjoy ourselves uh, let's see what we achieve Also means that if you come back in a future year, you 
still can use this same badge to get into all of those areas. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below and make sure that you subscribe to see more from the Milk Club. Thank you for watching.